So, you're driving along and something doesn't feel right. Something with the steering and under braking or there's an unusual noise. You think you've got a flat, don't just carry on driving. As soon as you can, when it's safe to do so, pull over, get out and check your wheels and tyres. Now, I think I've got a problem with this one. Don't think you can look at a tyre these days and tell whether it's flat or not. The construction of a modern tyre makes it incredibly rigid. This tyre could have no pressure in it at all and it would still look as it should do. The way to check is here at the valve. Off comes the dust cap and either check the tyre pressure with a portable tyre gauge which you can get for a few pounds from your dealership or from any car accessory shop or better still if you're on a car forecourt you can check it with a machine which could put some pressure back in the tyre even if that was only to get you to a dealership where you could have it professionally checked out. So I've got a flat tyre and I need to change it but you should only do so really if you first made sure that you're in a safe place to do that. Also make sure that you're on a hard surface. For goodness sake, don't try and use the jack on a grassed or a soft area. I've actually managed to pull off the road. I know there's no traffic coming from that direction and I can see if anything's coming from that direction. It's light, I can see what I'm doing. Everything's in place for me to change this tyre and so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Here we go, a bit of a tip for you, use the boot carpet. They're normally foam backed and it makes the job a lot more comfortable. Here's the spare, this one is a space saver. You'll be needing a jack and don't forget the handle. We've got a big wheel brace here which allows you to exert a bit more pressure than the standard one which we also have which comes with the car. And don't forget, if you've not got the key for the locking wheel bolts, you can't do the job. Right, on uh, this particular car, the first job we have to do is to remove these plastic caps that go over the actual nuts. Yes, they do look like the actual nuts themselves, but they're not. Right, they're off. Don't jack your car up without loosening the nuts. Because <laughs> when you try and undo them, the wheel will just turn around and around. It sounds obvious, I've done it. This was in the toolkit. It's the adapter key for the one locking wheel nut, which we need to release first. So let's make sure that's in position. Now, I could have used the standard wheel brace, this lightweight one that came with the car. This is a standard issue one. You need to have had a decent breakfast if you're gonna use one of these. Uh, I'm a reasonably robust lad, but what I'm gonna do is rely instead on what I think is safer, which is one of these aftermarket wheel braces. We can get two hands on it and we can exert some real leverage. So let's get this one off first. There we are. <laughs> Right, so I'm going to loosen these off. <clears throat> but I'm not going to take them off completely because I do not want this wheel to come off when I don't want it to. There'll normally be, almost always, there's instructions in various languages on here as to how to use this jack and where it goes, most importantly where it goes. If you try and raise the whole weight of this vehicle, uh, by putting this in the wrong place, it can puncture the bodywork and you really don't want to do that. And worse still, it can be uh, a danger to you, the person who's changing the wheel. So I've had a look and it tells me that there's, um, on the sill here, there's a depression where that goes. So there it is. So I've got that in nice and tight, just finger tight there. Right. One thing as well, if you, are, if you do have other people with you, for goodness sake, make them get out of the car. Or if they're in the car, if they're children and they're in the car, make sure they stay in the car. The last thing you want when you're jacking up a car is for people opening and closing doors unnecessarily and getting in and out of the vehicle. Right. Let's get this wheel off. Just put these to one side. There's nothing worse. They're getting halfway through this job and finding out that you've lost one of the wheel bolts. <laughs> yeah. Right, let's stick the space server on. There was quite a bit of resistance to space server tyres and wheels when they first came out a few years ago. But as well as having the advantage of liberating space inside the car and reducing weight, which reduces your fuel consumption and improves your performance, they're also much easier to handle. Wheels and tyres have got bigger and bigger and bigger and heavier. 
And so the space server has all kinds of advantage. But for goodness sake, look at it. It's perfectly safe, but don't leave it on your car for a few weeks. I don't want to see you in the car park at the supermarket loading up the car with one of these things on. Once you've got one of these on, the only place you need to be going is a tyre specialist or your dealership. Just tighten these up now. I don't think I'll put the plastic caps back on because I'm only going to be leaving it on for as long as it takes me to get to a dealer now, aren't I? They're all on. So you've seen me put them on finger tight at first and, and that's a good way of starting them off so that you're going into the existing thread. You're not, as they say, cross-threading the hub. You don't want to force these bolts in to start with. However, once you've got them all finger tight, it is good practice. Get hold of the tyre at the top here, if it's this space saver like this, and just give them a twist in turn with the wheel brace so that the wheel isn't moving around at all. The wheel's nice and secure. I can let the jack down and then I'll properly tighten those five bolts to make sure this wheel's on right. Yeah. Right, let's take the jack out. Put it. Now that the wheel is firmly on the ground, tighten these nuts. As much pressure as you can apply on one of these four-way uh, wheel braces, it's probably about as tight as it needs to be. When you're tightening these up, by the way, try and tighten opposite to opposite instead of going round the clock to make sure that it's squarely on the hub. Right, they're all tightened, the wheel is secure, it's pumped up and ready for the road again.